Hi guys, welcome to IDS 101, your number one go-to for everything IDS. Today, I'm going to show you how to default the wireless receiver. Let's go. Okay, so to default the wireless receiver, the first thing you need to do is remove power out of the receiver. Once you've done that, you then need to put all the tip switches up. Then you're going to need to put power back. So you're going to leave the power on for about 5 to 10 seconds. Once your 10 seconds is up, you're going to just remove the power again. And then you're going to put off all the tip switches down and then leave only the tip switch that you were using with your wireless range. Then apply power back. Then just wait for the trouble LED to flash until it stops flashing. So you only need to have the network LED on, then the receiver is defaulted. So this is a good way to troubleshoot any um, wireless issues you're having with other your detectors or with your receiver. Another way to default the wireless is by putting the installer code and then star, putting zero and then star, then seven star. So this will default the receiver. And again, you need to wait for the trouble LED to stop flashing until only the network is on solid. The difference between the two methods is that this method deletes all the wireless zones, serial numbers. The other just deletes the wireless uh, remotes, the XWave 2 remotes. When your network LED is solid and there's no trouble flashing, you're now ready to learn back in your wireless zones. 